Dear God, if you just let me lay this lace correctly, please, I swear I won't do nothing bad ever again. Please, I need your help. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? It's Amy. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a second. Today, I want to do an unboxing slash review, product review on a new wig. I'm really excited about this because this is an expensive, she's not cheap type of wig. This isn't a wig that a company sent me. This is actually a wig that my sister bought off of Love Me Hair. If you've seen other reviews around YouTube, you know that they're pretty popular and they're actually like well known and they're known for wigs so they don't mess around. And that's exactly what I saw when I opened this box. So I hope you stick around and enjoy. If you do give it a thumbs up and like the video, that's the exact same thing. Thank you so much for watching the video and share with your family and friends and let's get into it. Oh my God. So this is Lumi hair. Oh, you already know we can get a good thumbnail for this one. This is the box, super cute. We're here for it. Love the packaging. Purple used to be my favorite color too, so this just speaks to me. Got it? Good. Ugh. Okay. So I already know it's in the box because I did open it. Well, my sister opened it and then gave it to me. And the reason why she gave it to me was to customize it for her so she could wear it. So technically it's not my wig. She didn't give it to me, but... I'm so excited to try it on. And I'm the first one to do it, and I love being the first one to receive things and like do whatever it is, especially when it's mine. Look at this, look at this. So she's very full, she got body. I can't tell you if she's like 150 density or 180 or what, because I didn't order this wig, my sister did. I know nothing about this wig other than the fact that it's a wig and it's more than likely body wave. This is the lace. First of all, on the inside, there is already sewed on and attached a thick strap. This is beautiful for people with little peanut heads like me because they don't fit unless you have one of these. And you can sew on one, but it's just super convenient that it comes with one. Like, less work for me means more money for you. That's really what it is with companies. And then it comes with the regular thin bra strap looking adjustable straps on the wig cap, which are these things. One, two, three, four combs, four adjustable combs. I want to say that this is 13 by six. You can see the weft in the back right here, but the parting space is really big. You got a lot to work with, that's nice. And then it came with this cute red bag, and so inside, it came with a really cute red bag, and so inside of it is what I was really most excited about. So it came with a rat tail comb, a fine tooth rat tail comb. It came with hair wax stick that you didn't already have to buy from the drugstore because you already know when you don't have one, that's what you go out and do. It came with this stuff right here, right, right there. It came with a few bobby pins, which is really cute. It came with a second thick band adjustable strap. <gasps> oh my God. So it did come with a second adjustable strap until I broke it. Um yeah that's unfortunate i can just cut it but um let's move on oh it came with oh it came with tweezers oh it came with a second duck bill for thingy in pink and also came with an extra wig cap not in me or my sister's skin color so i don't know if you can choose what color because this is definitely for the light skins and then I'm not sure if they threw this in there or if she bought this, but it came with a whole flat iron. This is for the flat iron. And then you pull it up and then this is for the barrel curl. And I'm going to get into the process of customizing this to the best of my abilities. If you don't like it, leave a comment down below on how you think I can do better with customizing my wigs, but please don't be mean because I will block you and I am not afraid to respond to my haters. And if you do like this video, please let me know. Please tell me in the comments. Okay, so right here, I'm just basically taking the tweezers that came free in the Love Me hair box. <laughs> Thank you very much. To plug some of the hairline. It is pretty plugged already, so you really don't have to worry about that. But I'm just low-key being extra and like plucking some more just to make sure 
because I am um, slightly a perfectionist. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just combing out the shed hair that I got from plucking. And that's about it. Now, here I decided um, to bleach the knots. I don't think you need to bleach the knots looking back at this. But if you do, oh yeah, be careful. Wear, wear, wear a mask because this stuff is strong. Also, read the instructions, please, because I didn't on purpose. I was just lazy. I was like, you know, I'm just eyeball it. And bro, I done burnt <laughs> these edges. Like, I over-processed it, and it was blonde, as you can see, like, in the next few clips coming up. But, um, yeah, if you feel like you still want to bleach the notch, please just, like, depending on, like, how strong your bleach is, don't leave it on there. I would say for more than 5 to 8 minutes. I left mine on there for 12, and you would think it's not that long, and it really isn't. But, like, when it comes to bleach, that can make or break your wig. And if you don't know how to fix it, girl, it might be over for you. You might have just wrapped up the game. No, I'm just kidding. But... Yeah, so I left it on too long. So my advice, don't leave on bleach too long if you are trying to bleach the knots. And only bleach, like, the edges uh, as close as possible to the edge as you can. Okay, she's done. I think I'm I'm finna overdo it. I gave it 12 minutes and that is all she needs. I can see it. <gasps> it's on my nail. I see a few pieces are, like, blonde and I don't want it blonde. So I'm, I'm gonna rinse this out now because... Cause I don't need the roots to be blonde. That's not what I want. And as you can see, I have over bleached the roots. Of course, by 12 minutes. 12, it was only 12 minutes. But that's okay, we can fix it. I'm just gonna put some mascara through it because I don't have black dye. So make sure you read the instructions, kiddos. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a few days later, maybe like three or four, I can't remember. Basically off camera, I did a lot more work to it as you last saw, I think in the last clip, the knots were bleached, a little over bleached, but I fixed it. So let me show you what she looks like right now. I also went ahead and curled the hair and I'm so excited because it doesn't look bad. like. Like, once I comb this out, I think the curls are like super nice and super pretty. Um, excuse me, can we appreciate the big face? I didn't even do anything too crazy on the eyeshadow. Look cute with a ball head. I think I would look cute with a ball head. Okay, so I finally laid it down and I think it's looking pretty decent. I'm gonna comb out the curls and pray that this part thing I tried to do works. I mean, it's it's looking pretty good so far. You can't even see the full length, but this is like where it stops on me, but that's cause I'm short. Oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> but I'm so little, it's so big of me. Guys, I love it. This is a 10 out of 10, would recommend. I'll buy one myself even. Everybody go buy from Love Me Hair, okay? This is the finished look. This is the finished product. So if you like this transformation, if you like the way I customize this wig, if you like this review and you think you wanna buy some yourself, honestly, this is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid for this, but I'll leave you the link down below. Thanks to my sister for letting me customize this and um, do a hair review, cause I sure as heck did not buy this unit myself. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and like the video. That's the exact same thing. Share it with all your family and friends. Follow me on all my social media. The links will be in the description box down below as well as somewhere here on the screen. Subscribe to the channel if you already have not. So right now, I think I'm going to start posting only once a week on Fridays. From yours truly to you, I'm Amy. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later. When I'm in my truth, turn up on you when I'm in my truth. Yeah. Alley, alley, you when I'm in my truth. Alley, you when I'm in my truth.